Maybe hard to believe, but Sunday, also Super Bowl Sunday, but it marks 12 years since the Special Olympics World Winter Games came to Idaho. Athletes from around the world, some of whom have never seen snow in their entire lives, made their way to the Gem State to compete in venues across Southern Idaho, including Boise, Sun Valley, and McCall. For six days, we watched the camaraderie and the competition that still make for memories we remember to this day. <laughs> It's not about swifter, higher, faster. It's really about achieving your personal best and overcoming obstacles. And for some of these people, they're doing just that. And we have racers who never once even got to practice on snow who are taking gold. There were some things that uh, she could not do by herself, but if I was holding on to her, she could do them. That's how we started our unified pair idea. Even though there's a huge language barrier for most of the teams, and like myself, we all know how to pound it or high fives and just cheering. Are you having a good time? Go! I want to tell you how proud I am to be here. Proud I am to be associated with the Special Olympics. And I bring greetings from President Obama, who wanted to be here. Today. Thank you to your wonderful people here in Idaho who has given us something to be very proud of. Well, you gave us something to be proud of as well. Oh, Jackers, it was nothing. Oh, God, this looks great. I love this. Nice. Special Olympics is a celebration of life. I mean, ultimately, we're just celebrating the, the, you know, the, the dreams and goals and aspirations that all of us have, and that's to come together and just be better than we've ever been. It was quite the show. 2,000 athletes from 100 countries, more than 100 countries, were represented that week. As you saw, former Vice President, now President Joe Biden, yeah, he declared special needs advocacy, advocacy a civil rights movement.